Hi guys, so I'm coming at you today, vlog style. Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a room tour. This has been long awaited. I've been really wanting to make one for the longest time. I feel like I finally have my room basically together. In my opinion, rooms are, especially in this time of our lives where we're spending a lot of time at home and indoors, I think it's really important to invest in your room. I'm really fortunate and really thankful that I'm able to make it into a room that, you know, I vibe with and like surround myself with things that make me happy basically and like make me like, you know, wake up and be like, wow, I really like my space and I want to like be productive today you know i'll link them all down below so you can see like how my room has evolved but i think this is the most it's changed since i first moved here so yeah i'm really excited to show you guys um also i'll do my very best to link everything down in the description below so like if you guys want to like get some pieces that you really like you guys can you know go ahead and get it so we can twin yeah let's get started Okay, so when you first walk into my room, this is what you see. Wow, amazing, amazing. My very small room, but I love it a lot. This is my room. My format changed a lot because this desk used to be over here. This desk is like those desks that like everyone has and it has like the shelf, but I removed the shelf just so I can maximize the space of like the desk part since I did get an iMac this year. And then my bed used to be a double bed and it used to go along here this way long wise and like because my bed was so big my room became like 10 times smaller so I had to buy myself a new bed a smaller bed just so I can maximize more of the space in the room I know it's kind of awkward since the bookshelf is here now because the bookshelf used to be over here and then the desk was here and then the bed was here but I really wanted to put the desk here just so like when I film and stream I can potentially use natural lighting but I haven't been doing that because I haven't been waking up early enough but it's fine it's all good Good. It's all fine. I had to put the bed here because there's kind of like nowhere else to put and you know Let's just hope this doesn't fall on me in the middle of the night It's supposed to do to the wall, but yeah, anyways, let's get started I guess we'll start at the door. The door is not really exciting. It's kind of messy I have all of my back when I used to be athletic ribbons from elementary school I used to be a track star. I was mainly into long distance when I was in elementary school This is my biggest accomplishment in my life at the time I came seventh place in cross country running. Wow. And then first in my division. I don't know what I forgot what years these were, but yeah, I used to do a lot of running sports basically. I was good at running. Hella keys and stuff. My one and only anime North badge. This is the first time I went to a convention and the only time, unfortunately, because Miss Rona came in. And then a bunch of bags, masks, and stuff so I could just grab and go. This is the purse I always use. I don't really use much of the other ones. I la 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 la. So yeah. I got my Hokage grad cap over there. This is an artwork from Amulet, which is my very most favorite graphic novel, which I have over there, but I'll show you guys later. I did this in grade 11. I basically just specterized it, as in traced it on Illustrator. That was basically the assignment, but I was really proud of how it turned out because it was really pretty, so yeah. And then I have a little painting that I got when I went to the Philippines for the first time in 2016 uh, from Beagle. And then I have a clothing rack here because in the past, I did a lot of fashion videos, so having this clothing rack really helped me prepare and plan videos the day before I would film so I would like put all the outfits and stuff that I would film with over there but now it's kind of just like random clothes I've kind of just been throwing clothes here for now randomly but yeah I got this rack on Amazon by the way I'll link it down below and then down here I just have like a bunch of random things in the past I used to have all of my art stuff all of my art supplies but they're not in my closet so over here I have my projector which I haven't been using that much lately because it used to be on the shelf over here. It used to have like a shelf dedicated to the projector which I would just like easily turn on, connect to my computer, and then like play project it onto the wall. But because this is here now, what I do is take this, like literally it's a struggle, and then I have to put it here, move it here, and then I that's where I set it up and hook it up and, to my computer and stuff like that. Yeah. And then I just project it to the wall. I just don't use it as much anymore because it's such a hassle, but when I do like my solo binge watching in the middle of the night, that's when I set it up. And then I just have random stuff. I have like a head massager thingy. This is actually a kalimba. I have no idea how to play it. I got it for Christmas a year ago. I haven't had time to like learn anything. I just have random Polaroids here. A Nintendo DS case and then my switch case here i have journals oh external hard drive case back when i was in school i would put my 
it's no hard drive there. Makeup wipes. And then this is a box full of pictures. I have a, a lot of Polaroids stored in here. This is back when I used to paint, try to paint Polaroids. This is Kire from Junji Ito's Uzumaki. And yeah, and then I have like a whole bunch of just pictures in here. But yeah, that's basically it for this area. And then over here, I have my beautiful shelf. Probably one of my most favorite things that I have in my room. Got this from Ikea like four years ago when I first moved. The thing on my bed right now. My bookshelf. So this is where all the majority of the anime stuff are. Um, I got more anime stuff coming, but I have this Inuyasha and Sashomaru fighting figure. I kept it in the box because mainly because you can see it the whole thing. I usually take up my Funkos out of the box because I like to see like, you know, the whole figure and I don't really plan on like reselling it anyways. So yeah, it's totally doable for me. Here I have the Inuyasha anime moments of Sashomaru and Inuyasha fighting at his father's grave. Um, my best friend Tasha got it for me for my birthday and I was really thankful. It's really cute because she isn't really into anime. So it's just like, wow, it's, it's really thoughtful that she got this for me. Um, and then down here I have four Full Metal AA Full Metal. I got Edward, um, Alphonse, and Winry Funko Pops, and then I'm not gonna explain what who this is, but let's just say I manifested this number 69. <laughs> so I have like a lot of like journals and just like these books I'm gonna give away, and then I have like Demon Slayer manga there, and let's go down here, and then I have more. Funko Pops and manga. So I have Kagome Funko Pop. I have Inuyasha Funko Pop. I have Shomaru Funko Pop. And then I have the Shomaru Dog Demon Form GameStop exclusive Funko Pop. This one is really pretty. If you look at the details, it's really pretty. So yeah, one of my favorite items here. Even though it's kind of scary, it's still really pretty to be. But yeah, and then I have the whole amulet series except for the last one that's coming out soon. So one, two, eight. I mentioned this in all of my past room tours, but amulet is like literally my favorite graphic novel ever. I read it since I was like in grade three, I think. Back when I was literally low-key kind of illiterate, I couldn't read properly. So I actually really loved graphic novels and stuff like that. So amulet is one my most favorite ones and the author of Amulet is actually a huge fan of Studio Ghibli or Ghibli. I am actually a huge Ghibli fan as well. I grew up watching their films, um, Miyazaki and Isao Takahata and all of their films but yeah. I love having graphic novels because they're always really fun to reread so it's just like you know it's like not really a waste of money. I always love rereading them so graphic novels, manga, I always just every now and then would just pick up and reread. And then I got in this corner of the world. This is actually my sister's. I just have it in my bookshelf. But if you guys haven't watched the movie, it's really, really, really beautiful and sad. It's just basically about the effects of war onto the people and the citizens and the things that they can go through. So yeah, I really love this movie. And then I got Uzumaki by Junji Ito. And Junji Ito is another one of my favorite manga artists. His art is so beautiful. I know this is kind of scary. <laughs> this is actually a horror manga but his art is so beautiful doop, 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 doop. it's so stunning I just love his art. And then lastly in this bookshelf I got Inuyasha Fizz Big Edition. Yay! So I got volumes one, two, nine. I don't have it all. So these are three in ones. They're remastered version, all in English. But yeah. So pretty. I have like little like four spirits from Princess Mononoke here. I just kind of scattered them around, but they're kind of just there right now, so. And then down here, I have Avatar The Last Airbender Funkos. So I have Aang, I have Momo, Appa, Sokka, and Katara. And then I have a bunch of books. These ones I haven't read yet because I, I was saving them for like commuting when I went to school, but I'm not in school, so nor do I commute anywhere far. So I kind of just have them here, but I'm gonna try my best to get these 
through them. I have Kiyoshi Kiyoshi. So good, so good, so good. I still have to read this one. I've been holding it off sadly, but this Rise of Kiyoshi was so amazing. I really recommend it if you're an Avatar fan to read it because it's so intense. It's so it's really dark. You think you think Korra is dark? You think Avatar is dark? No, Kiyoshi is on a different level of dark and sad. You gotta read it. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll do a video if you guys aren't really into reading it. Um, I'll do a video summarizing like basically what happens if you want. And I got Tomi. Tomi is another one of Junji Ito's works. This is a lot thicker but it's so beautiful, so beautiful. And then I have a lot of stuff here. So I got starting points. So this is a bunch of Hayao Miyazaki's like little essays through his life. Uh, 1979 to 1996. There's another book after this one but I don't got that. And then I have Teen Titans graphic novel by one of my favorite artists that I found like on Instagram. His name is Gabriel Piccolo. Focus bro. And his art is just so pretty. Look at how pretty this is. So pretty. But yeah, I have two other books from uh, illustrated by Gabriel Piccolo. So I'll show them in a bit. And then I got three volumes of the Avatar The Last Airbender comics. Only three though. Of The Promise. So this is right after the series ended. Basically stuff that happened. But yeah, so pretty. Or it's really pretty. Doop doop doop. And then I got the novel, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I read this last year um, during my commuting to school and stuff like that. It's so good. I know there's a movie, it's a romance basically. It's, this title is really, can throw you off a lot, but the movie is actually a romance a drama. The meaning behind this title is a lot deeper than, it's not It's not a horror, I promise. It's not It's not crazy, it's not, it's not a horror, but I really love, love, love the book. I watched the anime after, and I think the book just, I don't know, the book just hit differently like everyone that watched the anime was saying like oh my god like the anime made me cry made me ball it was so good it was so amazing it's funny because when i watched the anime i didn't really cry because it felt rushed I don't I think after just reading this because the pacing was just so well done you get to see the the inner thoughts of the main character because it's in his perspective this book of the guy and it's just so so much better so <laughs> um if you want to read or watch I want to eat your pancreas if you like reading books I really recommend to read the light novel it's on Amazon but it's just so much better in my opinion it's so much better than the movie like I don't know I love like the book a lot, okay? And then this is the same author, um, Yoru Sumino. Um, this is the same author as I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I read this one mid last year, At Night I Become a Monster. It's really good. It's about like bullying and stuff like that. I really enjoyed it, so I really recommend this one as well. I hope they make this into an anime because it was really interesting as well. And then recently, she came out with another book called... I had that same dream again. This is mainly about like persevering and living and stuff like that. I haven't read it yet, but I will soon. I hope soon. I really want to read this. Um, I just haven't had the time to, unfortunately. But yeah, I really love her books. So I really recommend checking it out. Especially, I want to eat your pancreas. This one was just so, so amazing. I really recommend it. And then I have like a bunch of other books. The Last Airbender um, Zuko story. So I don't know if this, I don't think this is canon. The art is weird because it is based off of the movie characters. So this is a cursed book. I didn't know it was based off of the movie characters, but... It is. Um, and then I have the Your Name book here, and then The Promised Neverland. Uh, why are these separated? I have no idea. But I have one and two of the manga of The Promised Neverland, and then I have one, two, three, Demon Slayer here. And then I have the first volume of Full Metal Alchemist and the last volume of Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I was trying to collect like the first and last manga books of like my favorite anime. It kind of failed when I got Banana Fish because for some reason the first one was empty. But the Banana Fish, if you're gonna get a manga for Banana Fish, and you don't want like all of the, the the books for some reason like me who can't afford to get every single book in the series I really recommend to get the last volume of banana fish because it shows what happens after and it also shows like prequel of like Ash's story so I really recommend this because that was not animated in the anime so I really recommend it it made me cry it made me cry oh 
month. But yeah, okay. And then I have this salt rock. When I went to Penn's Cave in 2019. Haha, <laughs> my last vacation out of the country. Probably for a while. But yeah, and then down here, I have just random stuff. Plus more Funko Pops. I have Gon here. I really wanted Killua, but Killua is so popular. It's so hard to find him anywhere. So I just have Gon here alone. All alone. And then I have Toph. And then I have Zuko. Bald Zuko. Um, I really wish they had a longer hair Zuko. Like, not ponytail Zuko, but like longer hair Zuko. But they don't have it. And then I have a Totoro. This is actually a paperweight. But I just use him as like a figure. And I just put him here. And then I have like random stuff like a Totoro puzzle here. And then I have Nintendo 64 games. I have Diddy Kong Racing and Mario 64. Super Mario 64. Ah! Yes, I do have my N64. It's just under my bed stored. <laughs> and yeah, and then I have a bunch of DDS games over there. And then have a piggy bank that has so much coins in. And I almost forgot to mention, I have Naruto's wallet pouch thing. And then down here, I just have a bunch of cameras and stuff like that. This is the very first camera I got. I remember, I don't know how old I was. I don't, I really don't remember. But I remember when I got this for Christmas, I literally cried my eyes out because I was so happy, so thankful. Film camera here. This is one of my first camera, 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 or you, camera, 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 cameras that I started using to film YouTube videos back in the day. And then I got this gigantic insects polaroid this is a insects wide 300 and then this is a picture of me my best friend tasha i literally always have this picture here framed this is when we went downtown to center island in 2016 and then over here is just a random wow like i don't know i don't know what this is but i have a bunch of dry shampoo here for some reason i have a lot of dry shampoo because everyone just gives it to me and is like here take this i'm like why i don't need it though anyways and then i have a bunch of sketchbooks these are all notebook sketchbooks let's not show them because they're not that great haha <laughs> i have when i was learning hiragana i stopped making time for it after a while but i would love to get back into it and then i got this stool that is from the dollar store i don't i don't i really don't know and then i have books that i'm supposed to read well this is actually a this is an art book and then this is another one of Gabriel Piccolo's illustrated book. Uh, this one is Beast Boy, the other one was Raven, and he's coming out with another one soon. Yeah, so this is really pretty. I haven't got time to read this either, but hopefully I will be able to zoom through it. I feel like it would be a quick read because I did read this one and this one was really quick, but this is Icarus in the Sun, written and illustrated by Gabriel Piccolo. This was actually a Indiegogo fund, so like two years ago, he created the fund for this and then he was able to create it. So I think those of you who want this, I don't think you can until he restocks. This is like a little, well, typography, type calligraphy book that my mom got from the Philippines and she gave it to me because she was like here graphic design stuff this is just my to read please pile and then I got my uh, mirror then I have this gigantic manga wall so a lot of people when I posted it on my story a lot of people were asking me how I did this so it was a long long journey to make this only reason is because every individual picture is cut out I basically just went on Google searched up a bunch of manga pages from anime that I like and then I put them in like Google Docs I made them various sizes so there's some really big sizes there's some really small sizes and then I cut each individual manga page out and then I used sticky tack or poster putty but see you can see little poster putty just so you don't damage your wall with like tape or whatever and then it, I just collaged it so each individual one is just stuck on it looks really pretty because it looks like a wallpaper basically but it's not it's just a gigantic collage it took me a long time because i actually started making this back in may and then about here i gave up because i got too lazy to finish it and then at the end of 2020 in december i actually decided to you know what I'm, I'm gonna just finish the rest of this so that's that there is a little patch here that has like nothing because i'm so lazy to print like a few more panels but yeah um the reason why i went with this approach of 
of like a little uh, collage is because I thought it would just like puzzle piece together really nicely and because I liked way too many different mangas so I saw like on TikTok some people like took their manga books and then like ripped out pages and I was like I don't want to do that because first off I don't want to like waste money on my like manga books secondly if I were to do that it would most likely only come from one manga well I like way too many different anime and variety of different stuff so I was like I think this approach was the best way to do it to have like a variety of different ones so I have here like Inuyasha I have Uzumaki Banana Fish Dororo this is like the 1960s one Villain Saga this is Torifin and then I have Full Metal Fully Cooly Hunter Hunter Yuanma Tokyo Ghoul In This Corner of the World Romeo X Juliet Bungo Stray Dog Year Dazai <laughs> Tomi and then I have Gurren Lagan Fully Cooly Stone with the Red Hair I just have like a whole bunch of different mangas here so I think this was the best approach to, to do this wall yeah I'm really happy with this wall and I love this wall so much so if you guys have time on your hands during this quarantine I really recommend just making this manga wall it's really easy just get poster putty from Amazon and then just print it out on your printer and then look at my broken ass freaking lamp every time every time I get comments about this I would always accidentally like punch this when I'm trying to reach for the like the light this is how much it has gotten destroyed since my last one this is really sad and really dangerous look how funny that is and then moving on I have here is a vintage style princess mononoke poster low-key it's up this high only because my wall is kind of damaged and I'm hiding it because I'm gonna get in trouble yeah 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 so then over here I have Gurren Lagan flag the Gurren flag here like a little tapestry I put it up with command hooks over right there oh and this is also up with uh, poster putty as well super fly super cool I love it I love Gurren Lagan so much if you haven't watched it I really 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 recommend to it's only like 24 episodes believe in the me that believes in you so you can watch it I believe in you and then over here is my bed I got this bed from Ikea it was funny because literally the day before my birthday I was like I'm gonna go to Ikea I'm gonna rearrange my whole room so we did it literally the night before my birthday and the sheets uh, is from Urban Outfitters and then the comforter which is inside is from Amazon and then this I don't know I just found it one day in my house and I was like this is mine now and then I have a Sashomaru little pillow here the little chibi Sashomaru I actually got that from a subscriber thank you so much Vernell again send that to me through my P.O. box P.O. box link in the description and then I have a Kirara a little plush plush got this from Anime North and then I have a little clock from Blue's Clues from childhood and then I have a Totoro that I got the form Totoro that I got from Anime North and then I have a Koya plushie this is RM from BTS's BT21 character and it was a journey to get this they had a pop-up shop in um, Scarborough Town Center in Scarborough and I went there and I was like I'm gonna get a Koya my beautiful 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 this plates so this plates is basically not sponsored but please sponsor me this place is basically this company that has like metal posters and these are original like art they get commissioned every time you buy it so the original artists get commissioned or gets paid every time you buy like their creation as well as a tree gets planted so this is actually a metal poster it's magnetic so I have two here so this one is Princess Mononoke and then this one is Spirited Away and on the other side I have Nausicaa the Valley of the Wind which is the very first Studio Ghibli movie that I've ever watched and then I have Cast in the Sky over here I saw these and I was like these remind me of like tarot cards and stuff like that and like they're kind of like a set that goes together so then they had like House Moving Castle they had other movies but these ones were the prettiest ones in my opinion these ones and those two but the Nausicaa one is just stunning look at that look at that it's stunning for the sake of the video I will take it off but it is basically a metal poster so it's really high quality especially like if you're planning on keeping this forever which I freaking will keep this forever it's signed by whoever put this together because it is handmade and then there's like a gigantic magnet that they give you and a protective sleeve so your walls don't get destroyed when you remove it from your wall and then now I'm going to struggle putting this back I will probably yeah it's not even but I'll fix it later please sponsor me wow Okay, and then here I have my desk. If you guys remember my desk on my last tour, there used to be like a huge shelf over here that is connected. I removed it just so I could maximize the space on my desk. So when you guys see my videos and stuff like that, you see like this angle. 
but this is what I see all the time. <laughs> this, this is what I see. So yeah, this is my setup. Wow, my setup. So I have just random stuff here. I got my pens. I got my other Totoro over there. I got another Totoro. My friend Allison from college gave this to me on Christmas. Oh, Allison, I miss you. You're so cute. I still have it. And then I have a little mannequin man for anatomy purposes. And then I have a bunch of remote in a old candle jar. iPad, go home that is not even plugged in. And then just random stuff. I have my 14 terabyte external hard drive because Mac really sucks with having like their internal storage so I had to get something else and then I will show you this later but I have TikTok lights and it's really set up in a getaway I'm so sorry it's because I didn't want to waste it all you know so it's just like this is really dangerous but it works <laughs> and then I have my iPad my phones here my keyboard iMac SD card glasses my freaking mouse and then my camera I use the EOS uh, ADD. This is actually my dad's. I just borrowed it for like four years. <laughs> And then I have this ring light, which is connected to my computer through USB. My wire management needs help. And I just turn it on through here and it's all good. And then I have my, for streaming, this is a battery that will keep your camera alive so you can stream for a long time. And it's just plugged in all the way over here, which is really dangerous. I'm alive. And then this tripod is actually broken. I need a new tripod. And then I have my mic here. It looks like this. I just keep this on so dust doesn't get into it. So like. Like when I'm not using it, I just like <laughs> put this on. I don't know, like, is that weird? Do you guys do that? I don't know. The vitamins, because if I don't take my vitamins, I literally get migraines for some reason. Is that normal? Makeup, brushes is here. Tissues, and I have my Gone and Gila Wall lamp here. Let me show you guys this real quick. Gotta get my remote. I got this for, for my birthday. Joy and Bernadette got this for me. But look, and now it's not even turning on. I think there's an on button here. Turn on, bro. What's wrong? She doesn't want to turn on. I'll give up. Okay, it's not working. You're just not gonna work. That's fine. That's all good. You just vibe over there. Little pictures here and then I have the mic thingy thing. And then I have my... I have a keyboard for my iPad. And then I have my Nintendo Switch Lite. And then I've got my MacBook Pro. Just chilling. And I got a Coffee Crisp. Yeah, that's my setup. Whee! And then I got my ukulele here. I got a painting easel. I suck at painting, but I have this. And then I have like a little, you know, this tube thing when you're carrying art. Yeah, I got this here. Oh, I also forgot. Behind my bed, the reason why I have a huge space between the wall and my bed is because I'm storing all of my art stuff here and my stuff is plugged in here and I also have the heater here. So I need space for the heat to come through and to have my stuff plugged in and it just gave me more storage space to put all my art stuff. So this is all my art portfolio, physical portfolio stuff. Ta-da! <laughs> so moving on from my amazing setup, I got my closet so i have way too much clothes and i want to give them all away because i just stay home anyways and just wear t-shirts and stuff but i have all of my art stuff stored here now because they used to be over there so now they're here do 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 and i also have all of my fungo pop boxes up there just in case and then i have a lot of cosplay headwear up there and i have also shipping stuff so when i ship out packages i have all my tape my scale here and then i have like poly mailers envelopes yada yada yes i got a chenet hat and a webtoon tote bag hee <laughs> hee i just have like my long sleeves here my pants here dresses over here and then i have like tank tops and then like crop tops shorts and skirts over here i can barely open my door because of this freaking table yeah i'm out of breath oh my gosh i have a huge corkboard over here i used to use this to like post stuff but then it ended up looking really messy so then a few years ago i came up with this idea of square photos and stuff like that so i got these printed they're really good quality because they're um thicker than like normal pictures and i got them printed and then i used thumbtacks to put them onto the corkboard so you can just like put them in between photos and then push it down to keep them still and intact so it doesn't fall off wow my instagram feed basically and then down here i have just like this little cupboard thing and this is all like my home clothes so like t-shirts shorts stuff that i wear at home i have like a bunch of like anime shirts here too <laughs> And then here is like my collection of art books. First, I have The Art of Junji Ito. If you guys remember earlier, I talked about Uzumaki and Tomi. Um, that is the artist of this art book. And this is called Twisted Visions. And yeah, close your eyes if you're scared. This can be kind of disturbing for some people. Do, 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 do. Look how pretty it is.
Wow. Oh, he's so pretty. He's a horror manga artist, so like, don't be scared. Be terrified. This is from like an art thing that I got for a gift. It's to help you understand different techniques with different mediums and stuff like that, which is cool. Which I should really study up on because I really suck at painting. Wow, BTS. I got this from this membership pack because we got this membership thing for the concert. I'm not really a huge fan of collecting these stuff because it's not for me, really. I really like art stuff. Stuff, but like having pictures of, of people of like boys and stuff like that in your room is kind of I was never that girl, you know that had like posters and stuff like that of like boy groups and Celebrities in her room. That was not really my thing. If you do that, it's fine. It, it's normal It's normal. It's a normal thing, but it's not a thing for me And then I have another artist. That I really love Heikala. Her art is also so stunning. It's like so simple, but it's just it's so It's so beautiful I love reading up on like her thought process and like how she got to where she is now and stuff like that. So stunning. I love her painting too. I really want to learn how to paint properly. I can't. I just really suck at color theory and stuff like that. And then I got the art of Over the Garden Wall. So this is another show. If you guys know Gravity Falls, this is kind of similar to it. Over the Garden Wall is another kind of low-key kind of scary thing. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So like their thought processes, storyboards, rough sketches of early character designs and stuff like that. How they got to making the backgrounds. It's just, I love reading like the behind the scenes stuff. I just, I, I really love it. I like seeing these stuff. It's so interesting for me. I don't know like see like storyboards and stuff like that. I love seeing the storyboards too So I love it when like animation studios do like little storyboard comparisons to the actual final product I think it's really amazing how the idea can like become something really pretty. Yeah, I really like collecting art books I really want to collect more and then I got How's Moving Castle the art of this is by Viz Media It also comes with the script of the English dub as well. So it's really cool. I like seeing the scripts as well. But here you can see a lot of the thought processes as well. The scenery and stuff like that. Rough sketches and stuff like that. I really want to get the one for Inuyasha but I don't know where to get it. Um, maybe in Japan or something but look how amazing this is. Wow. So amazing. I love looking at these. It always like gives me inspiration, you know? Just staring at these stuff. This one is Spirited Away by Miyazaki. Hayao Miyazaki. Again, there is the scripts and stuff like that. And then just scrolling through a lot of the stock processes, storyboards, rough sketches, early designs, stuff like that. So that's really cool. I really just like looking at these. Yeah, so pretty. But yeah, those are all my art books. Got many. Um, my best friend Tasha gave this for my 18th birthday, and I have a little Pikachu. He used to light up here, but he doesn't work anymore. And then I got the printer here. And then lastly, I have this amazing sign. I am filming. Please do not open door. This is the sign that I always put on my door before I'm filming because everyone just walks into my room. That is all. That is my whole room. I hope you guys enjoyed this little room tour. It was fun, and I really love my room. And I hope this inspires you guys to kind of like make your room like your safe haven and i hope this inspires you to create your own space to make it like a you know a, a happy place for you uh but yeah um oh oh i totally forgot i totally forgot i am not done wow 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 so i have tiktok lights i totally i almost forgot hopefully the you led light there you go led light doesn't mess up with the camera but i have tiktok light i totally forgot to talk about this what we did with the tiktok lights is it's all connected down here it's all connected down here and there's a little gap between my bed and the wall just so this doesn't like interfere but it goes all the way over there behind my bed we have it connected all the way through behind my bookshelf and it goes all the way up there and it goes down there do 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 
poop and then we have it like all the way down there and it goes all the way up here this is like such bad like management i guess you could say but it works and we have it like going all the way up here and then it goes at the top here we wanted it to go through here but it wouldn't fit through the shelf here so then we had no choice and just have it here and then it just goes over here and then it goes through down there and it ends but it looks really cool on camera because without having this here it was like bright here and it was like pitch dark here so it looked really weird so i was like we should like continue it onto the bookshelf and it did really well especially since the camera angle when i'm like making videos or streaming it like goes through this way so you can't see the little tiktok lights here so then like kind of just like lights it up which is really cool so then it continues over here and then it gets diffused onto the wall here which is really nice and then this really ghetto setup continues um behind my desk which is really nice and then i didn't want to connect it onto this table just in case i would have to move it for some reason so we just continued it onto this desk and then it continues under my desk here just to see my trash or whatever i'll show you guys how it looks like pitch dark but it looks really cool i really like it but yeah it looks like a different place. I was really happy when we got the TikTok lights. Uh, it's not even called TikTok lights, but we just call it TikTok lights. What regular, normal people do is they would like put it up on their wall and then like put it on the top here. But I think it looks so much better like this, in my opinion. Um, so I would just like vibe. I usually use the purple setting, but orange looks really nice too. Orange looks really nice too. But I really like the purple. I I've been vibing with purple. Pink looks really nice too. Purple is really cool. There's a lot of different settings as well i'll link this in the description below the one i have but there's one you can use that will sync with music and stuff like that but i don't like it changing color because i get a headache so one color is fine for me but yeah this is it it's funny because for the longest time i was like i'm never gonna get tiktok like colored light give me headaches but then when i got the kilo and gone you better freaking work you better work oh my god why are you not working okay well when i got this it was really pretty and i was like well it didn't give me a headache so maybe I'll try getting TikTok lights and then we did and it ended up being really sick. So yeah, that's my room I hope I didn't miss anything. Well, 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 I also just remembered I also have drawers here. So this is my makeup drawer skincare and Yeah stuff in here and then drawer of Please help me. I don't know what to what to do with this. Okay, really quickly before my battery dies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful and inspiring so you guys can upgrade your room into a into a room that you like. I'll try my best to link everything or as much stuff as I can down in the description below. I had a really fun time making this video. Talk so much and I am out of breath. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Look out for future like anime videos and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Where's this?